Thank you for joining us. I'd like to introduce Allison Clark, Principal Analyst from Forrester, and Anya Pop. She is our Senior Consultant from Diebold Nixdorf. And I'm Scott Anderson, the Vice President of Corporate Marketing. Allison, I'd like to kind of go back to some of the research that you've recently published uh, and, and talk a little bit about the emotional connection that our consumers have. Can you, can you share a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we do a lot of work um, looking at customer experience and talking to customers all around the world, including from banks, to try and understand what makes a great experience. And from there, we look at how do you drive loyalty from that and revenue and mm -hmm. all of those lovely things that you know businesses want to drive as well. And what we find is that what makes a great experience is the three E's, ease, effectiveness, and emotion. And mm -hmm. unfortunately... Banks don't do so well on emotion, <laughs> and emotion has a far bigger impact on loyalty mm -hmm. than the other two. Now, it's all great to say, you're like, oh, what emotions, right? <laughs> um, we look at that too. So we talk to customers of brands, and we kind of say, you know, what was your last interaction? What do you do? Tell us more about it. And we ask them how they felt. And year after year after year in banking in many different countries, the emotions that come up time and time again are people want to feel valued, they want to feel respected, mm -hmm. and they want to feel appreciated. And that makes sense, right? Right. Those are the emotions that have the biggest impact on driving lo loyalty, yet they're the ones that customers aren't feeling from their banks. So... What's really important is to think about how do you generate experiences that are going to drive the most positive emotions. Now, what we're finding is that those experiences are typically hybrid. So it's a combination of digital and physical. They're the ones generating the most positive emotions compared to a digital-only experience or a physical-only experience. Anya, you know, over the last little while, we've been really looking at some motivations in banking, uh, in particular about how people are connecting with their, their financial institution and leveraging technology. You know, if I think about that human reassurance as an example of a motivation mm -hmm. in banking, tell me a little bit more about what that means uh, from the perspective of what we've done the research on and, mm -hmm. and how consumers are responding. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think we were very, very close to Alison, actually, and mm -hmm. we can confirm a lot of things that you've already been telling us today. Um, so, I mean, we've been looking at that topic of understanding um, how people are or what's on their mind before they approach technology, so to say, and how technology could actually um, build a better experience overall. So that was the, what we wanted to understand with our research. I mean, we were talking a lot about during the conference about the topic um, of do we still need the branch, for example, to create human reassurance. And technology can help. Technology can do anything, basically, in terms of uh, merging these experience in terms of connecting uh, connecting people and technology, right? Everyone thinks about simplification. Everyone thinks about that self-determination. And, and then they start forgetting all these other benefits that uh, that customers would actually crave for. So when you just consider, from our perspective as a provider, that we have, like, depending on the countries that you're looking at, 60 to 90% of the unique client base, unique users on the self-service channel, either ATMs or, or banking kiosks, doing anything, any transaction there, that's a huge share of your client base mm -hmm. that you're meeting in the, in the self-service channels every month. And now think about that. How often are they still going into the branch, right? That, that's a huge opportunity. If you can just stop thinking only about that simplicity topic and start bringing in the other emotions. Uh, and I think we, uh, we have some, some good ideas about that, right? How you can, how you can enrich these, these experiences. Absolutely. Sorry. And I was just, I was going to say, you know, it's, it's, it's what drives engagement, right? You yeah. know, I, I think the branch, be it the physical branch or what I call the virtual branch, you know, when you're talking to somebody, um, perhaps through video or whatever. Yeah. It's about how do you, even to those customers that want to self-serve themselves, yep. how do you connect and engage with them? Mm -hmm. But also, how do you differentiate? Because if yep. everybody is doing the same thing exactly. and it's all self-serve and no one's talking to their customers, mm -hmm. your customers are going to think you're the same as everyone else. Mm -hmm. But if you engage with them and you tap into those emotions that are important, mm -hmm. like, you know, value, respected, appreciated, confidence, exactly, it separates you from the pack. It makes you differentiated and it also drives it also drives trust as well as revenue which i mentioned earlier absolutely yeah. and I, I think too 
you know, getting that that connection with the customer and being more fluid in how you engage with them. And I'm, I'm thinking of the conference here and, and our friends from South Africa at NetBank, you know, digital when you need it and human when you want it. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's an important aspect. I mean, that's a very simple phraseology of, of how to connect, but I think it's important to say, you know, you, you can't just have a cookie cutter approach to your customer segmentation strategy or how you're going to engage because otherwise you're going to leave some behind. So we, we could spend hours on this conversation and I think I'd love to do that. However, we probably need to sum this up a little bit. You know, what would you say, Allison, are the key takeaways that we should have from this conversation? I think uh, the first key takeaway is that for traditional firms, your biggest competitive advantage is your people. Mm -hmm. So lean into that. But of course, you need to do it efficiently and in the right moment. I, I understand that because of cost. But what we do know is that firms that are leaders in customer experience, they have stronger emotional connections with their customers. They perform very well on emotion, far better than their peers. But from a financial perspective, what that means is that they're creating more loyal customers. The customers are stickier. They're able to grow revenue at a much faster rate than their peers. They can reduce costs more, they're able to reduce risks, and they can charge more from their products. Perfect. All really great things that banks Perfect. want to achieve, and you can get that from delivering great CX. But how do you deliver great CX? You need to tap into that emotion. You need to mm -hmm. tap into that human element um, and personalization type element to really, you know, help your customer when you need it most. And as I said earlier, how do you, what's the best way to create a strong emotional connection or the most positive emotional connections? It's a hybrid experience, mm -hmm. combination of physical and digital. Mm -hmm. So, Anya, when, when we're, we're thinking about that experience, mm -hmm. I, you know, banks tend to look at their customer base and segmentation based on demographics. Mm -hmm. exactly. And we've actually done some studies that say, you know what, there's a different lens to, to shine on the, on the customer here. Yeah. Maybe talk a little bit more about the motivations and, and what the key mm -hmm. takeaways are there. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, what you were referring to as, as emotions, I mean, we're talking about that in the sense of motivations and how they're influencing that uh, the topic of the, um, the journeys or how they challenge you to actually think through what kind of journey you want to you want to deliver. We're thinking in the categories of you have that element that we already discussed, simplicity and self-determination, which is a huge motivator large client base that is looking for that. Um, but then you have that uh, that factor of human reassurance that we were talking about. So sometimes people just want to reach out to persons. They want to have that backup, so to say. Mm -hmm. We have the topic of hyper-personalization. And I just want to make a, a very easy point here that is going into uh, our self-service conversations as well. So um, during the conference, we had that conversation um, with uh, one um, of our clients who actually was saying, like, I'm a person who's all about hyper-personalization. I want my bank to know me. Think about the data opportunity. You know? So right. we were not tapping into the data opportunity yet. Um, and he was saying, it's so simple. I'm always getting angry when I'm at the ATM. And it's great that they're giving me language selection, but they're asking me every time again. I would expect... I'm choosing it one time, and then they know it. They should know me. So that know your customer topic, that data opportunity is a huge topic in the emotional part, and I think we're underestimating that. When we're thinking about interfaces, maybe it's about the topic of um, are you calling out a button that is saying, like, request help right. or ask a question. Yeah, or get information or whatever. I mean, that's already a different thing. You're still get, you're still looking for support, but with a different emotional driver, right? So topics like that are things that we're thinking through. Um, also, the topic of naturally long-standing habits, huge inhibitor to technology. Uh, so um, when you're going for new things and you just you're just used to things how you've done them in the past and how they work and it's always been perfect. I mean. You have to overcome that topic. You have to find ways how you're bringing people out of their comfort zone, which is highly emotional, highly emotional. Uh, so that's another topic. As you were mentioning, we can go about that <laughs> forever and <laughs> ever. <laughs> we could. Alison is completely right on the emotional topic, and I think it's you can see how it just impacts an, a technology that we would probably like more call pretty unemotional, right? When we're thinking about <laughs> these boxes. Yeah, but it's not true. No. Absolutely. Well, 
I think with the, the emotional aspect here, it's it's been so awesome to be together again. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what bankers and customers are really after. So that's a perfect summation of, of this conversation. And Allison and, and Anya, I thank you both for your time today. And thank you all pleasure. for listening.